We're offering this session outline to help organizations that have been impacted by the COVID-19 outbreak. We'll start with the five key points that are critical for effective response of your organization to this situation. First, it's not too late to plan and act. A lot of organizations, a lot of people were caught off guard by this situation. Second, it is too late to wait and see. Your organization, your team, your employees, your suppliers, your customers, they're counting on you to handle this effectively and successfully. Three, right now, everything is an issue. So get it on the list, get it discussed, get it out there, be open and honest, and deal with it as it comes. Fourth, don't lose track of your long-term goals. The key to this is to filter everything you do through your core values and for the greater good of your organization, including those you serve. And last, be prepared for a quick recovery. China is already headed back to work. You want to be ready to do the same thing. We're recommending that you and your team go through a session like we've outlined here to get yourself, your team, your whole employee base on the right footing to react accordingly. Step one, do a SWOT of your organization under current conditions and what you see coming. Identify your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats according to this crisis. Get everything out there. Make sure it's written on the list and that it's spoken out loud. Step two is the issues list. In EOS speak, we call this IDSing. This is the way you get every issue identified, find the core problem, get down to the root, discuss it and put a solution in place with an assignee that you can make something happen. Working from your VTO, you're going to flip this quarter over. You're going to work from the to-dos that you gather from your issues list and make those your rocks for this immediate quarter. Accountability chart. So you want to look at this as if 50% of your workforce is not available. Define the must-have, must-do roles and functions. Define those first then step four is budget. Look at your existing budget in light of a 50% drop in your revenue. What absolutely must stay in the budget, what can be delayed or postponed, and what can be cut or reduced. Step five is cash. This is your life's blood and it's critical to your organization. Identify all of your current outflows. Look at those in terms of what must be spent now and what can be reduced or postponed until a later date. Try to maximize your LOC, collect all of your AR that you can now or in the near future, and then look at your AP and prioritize what you can pay as you go. Talk to your lenders now. Discuss your covenants, what latitude you have, and then also discuss with them what may become available through SBA under this emergency. Step six is your communication plan. You and your leadership team need to be on board with exactly what you're going to say to your employees, customers, suppliers, lenders, and stockholders succinctly, concisely, and consistently. Step seven, prepare for a quick recovery. China is already headed back to work. This nation needs to be ready and your organization needs to be ready to do the same. And lastly, stay well. And remember, storms don't last forever.